Hi guys! So I literally just got home from IMATS and I am so excited to share with you guys everything I got. So I I don't know what to say other than I went to IMATS today. This is the first time I would ever been to IMATS and wow. IMATS was so much fun. I am so tired right now and I'm running on pure caffeine and I actually switched to iced tea so that I wouldn't like be jittery for this video. I'm going to go into my haul and kind of talk about everything I got and why I got it. And if you're interested in my IMATS experience, check out my vlog channel, which is Serene Vlogs. And my vlog channel is always linked in the description box below, as well as in my actual channel about section under featured channel. This is the haul video. So if you're interested in my experience, go to my vlog channel and check that out. If not, and you just want to see what I bought, this is the video you're watching. So I'm gonna go into my bag. I don't even know what's in here because my mom organized it for me when I went to the bathroom. So this is my Anastasia bag. Finally got my hands on the Medium Ash Brow Wiz. IMATS, if you don't know, has IMATS prices and there's no tax added to the price. So everything's a little bit cheaper. Not that you're saving a whole ton. I would, like it depends on the brand and the store but there, it was a couple dollars off. So I got the Ash Medium Brow Wiz, which I'm sure you all know, it's that really thin brow pencil, mechanical brow pencil with the little spoolie on the end. I got this contour kit, which everybody was waiting in line for. It's got six shades, and it's basically like, I feel like these are, it, it'll go for everyone and it's such a great contouring palette if you like to contour if you like to play with contouring or if you're a makeup artist this is like awesome because it's got six shades I feel like this would be enough for almost everybody I think if you're like super dark then you would probably need a different color that's not included in this my mom actually we were like searching everywhere for a brow pencil for her because she doesn't wear really much she doesn't wear makeup at all she wears she wears lipstick when she leaves the house and she always does her brows so we were looking everywhere for one and we found one at makeup forever but they were sold out of the one shade that matched her so she went to on so we waited in line in anastasia because i'm like my mom came just to hang out with me and keep me company and i feel like she needed to get something that she needed so she was like i need an eye Eyebrow pencil. I could buy an eyebrow pencil. So we went to, we waited in line for Anastasia and she didn't want to wait. And I was like, Mom, it's moving really fast. I feel like we should get you something special, like for brows. So she got herself a brow whiz as well in the same color. And then she's like, Maybe I should get some stencils. I'm like, Yes, Mom, you should get some stencils for your brows because my mom, not only does she not wear makeup, but the only thing she does wear, this is her, like with the brow pencil, it's like line, line. And I'm like, Mom, you gotta like fill it in and like brush it out, blend it in. No, just one line, two line, like a pencil drawn. It's hilarious. So we were playing with like markers too. And she's just like, ah, I don't really like the markers. We got her this and we got her some stencils so she can go home and kind of like map out which size she wants. And she can fill in her brows with the stencils and blend it in instead of what she's been doing. I'm like, mom, all you do is your brows. Put some effort into your brows. Next bag is full of makeup geek items and I waited over an hour to get her products. I ended up getting eight shadows, two pigments, and a Z palette. I just got the basic small black Z palette because it's supposed to fit nine shadows and I got eight of them. I don't know how I'll do this, but I will just name the colors because I got a lot of them and I've got more stuff I want to show you. So I got the Makeup Beat Geek Press Powder in Cocoa Bear, which I'm sure you guys all know about. And I got Cinderella, which is a really pretty pink shimmery shade. I got Corrupt, which I don't think I wanted this. That's not one I wanted. Um, I got Glamorous which is like a bronzy gold color that was really pretty. I got Twilight, which is like a lavender color. I got Prom Night, which is a shimmery grayish lavender color. They're pretty close together. One's darker and one's more lavender. I got Shimmer Shimmer, which is so beautiful. Homecoming, which is this pretty like bronzy um, brownish taupish color. Got 
two pigments I got Afterglow and Birthday Wish. The next thing I got were Velour lashes and I am so excited about these lashes. I had it on my Christmas list but I was just like oh they're kind of expensive. They're really actually expensive but if you don't know about Velour lashes they're made with real mink fur and they don't harm the animals at all. These are just such beautiful lashes and the color or the I got Complete Me, which is, I think, what this model is, but they're just such a special, like, I think I'm going to wear these for my birthday, definitely, if I can wait that long. My birthday is in April. But so these are just so beautiful, and they're so soft. I was touching them, and they're just so beautiful, and these are pretty natural to go with my normal lashes, because my normal lashes are actually really long. I just need more thickness and volume. And these have more on the outer corners of the eye. Such a treat. And these were on sale for iMats for $20 a set. And I'm just like, I, I was tempted to buy more, but my mom was there. And I'm like, ah, she's going to like freak out if I buy three pairs of mink eyelashes. <laughs> so I just got one pair, even though they were super like on sale at iMats. So the next thing I knew I wanted to get was the Cinema Secrets Professional Brush Cleaner that everybody's been talking about. And I had gone to Namie's and I couldn't find it and then, or I was like, uh, I don't know. I just couldn't bring myself to buy it. And then I was there and he explained to me how to use it so I'm not going to have to rinse it, which is so much better than the way I've been doing brushes. Because the reason I don't wash my brushes as frequently as I should is because I don't like the whole rinsing process. Like, I don't mind the lathering and getting all the gunk out, but rinsing all the soap out is such a time-consuming pain in my butt. And then I have to reshape and dry and all that crap. So basically with this, I pour a little bit into this container and then I just dunk it in, like not even all the way because all the stuff will go suck it all the way up. And for normal powder brushes, like pro powder products and stuff, it should only take one time. So I just put it in there and then I just reshape it and let it dry. And it's supposed to just disinfect it. It has antibacterial properties, all that stuff. And I don't have to rinse it out. I don't have to wait super long time for it to be ready to use again. And for like my foundation brushes that have that more of a creamy uh, substance and waxy stuff, maybe I would have to do it twice. But even that would cut down my cleaning time so much. And because I'm only using this or because it's really just me on my brushes, I can actually save it and until it gets gross, then toss out the brush cleaner. So that's really awesome. And I got the large one. I was originally gonna get the medium size one, like the smaller one that's like this this big. And my mom's like, we just waited an hour to get into IMATS, you're gonna buy the large bottle. So I got the large bottle, which will last me probably forever. But I love how it leaves that vanilla scent at the end, and it's not an overpowering vanilla scent. It's a very light, fresh scent that where when you're like putting makeup on, you'll kind of just get a good, gl like glow. And there's no a there's no alcohol in this product, which is nice. It's better for your brushes and all that stuff. The next thing, this was the first thing I purchased, and it was because I literally have been hearing so much about it, and I keep looking at their website. But I just can't bring myself to do it unless I touch it and feel it for myself to spend this much money. I got the Hakahoto brushes. I think that's how you say it. I got a little brush set. These are luxurious brushes and they're definitely pricey. So, but so worth the splurge for yourself if you're a makeup lover. I'm just, I'm look at this packaging look how beautiful this is and they actually have a showroom in Torrance so that's not that far from me oh my gosh you guys this was what I went to IMATS for no I went for other reasons but this was like my, my first stop so it's a set of five brushes and I got the white collection I'll link it below they gave me their website and I'll link all of the stuff that I can find online below in the description box below I'll do a close-up insertion of these as well and then it comes with a white case and the brushes are white so with these brushes if I'm just using them on myself they said I could just basically wash them deep condition or deep wash them once a year 
which is really nice for the most part to just dust off the product on a Kleenex or a paper towel and I also did get their cleaner I got their special cleaner because I don't have any actual real animal hair brushes and I thought you know it was five dollars and I'm spending so much on these brushes that I should really invest in it so if you buy the brush kit it's actually not that expensive because if you think about it even Mac brushes or any higher end or better quality brushes get kind of pricey they're anywhere between like 20 some dollars to 30 like 30 40 dollars and there's like individual brushes for the fluffier ones start off at like 50 or 60 some dollars and then they go up but they're made with real animal hair they have goat hair and I think they use other hairs too it is literally the softest thing I've ever touched and they're just so beautiful and it's so luxurious and if you love makeup and you want to treat yourself to something I think these are these are the items to treat yourself to because they'll last forever it's not like a product that will kind of just go away these brushes if you take care of them will last forever they're super luxurious you can bring them with you like I bought a kit that literally I could bring with me and I could get away with using just these for a look these are like oh, I'm so excited I got these that was like my big splurge hope you guys enjoyed my IMATS haul I actually ran into a subscriber or I don't know if she subscribed but she recognized me from my channel she was like you do Stella and Dot stuff and I was like oh, okay so it is me because we weren't sure if she was actually recognizing me or if she was someone that looks like me I don't know I don't think people would recognize me so I was really really shocked and I was really like I was like oh that's so cool <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a big thumbs up leave me a comment below letting me know like what items you would have wanted to try out and don't forget to check out my vlog channel to see my experience of iMats and I will see you in my next video bye um I think my mom got cotton pads <laughs> And she left them in my bag or she bought a bunch and she gave me two. I don't know. I'm going to have to call her and figure out what happened. So I have cotton pads that I didn't buy and then some sponges. <laughs>